Hi everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. I just arrived on Manila International Airport. I just cleared the immigration and came out. I just changed some money and uh, bought the SIM card. Now I'm going to get the taxi to my hotel, which is in place called Santa Cruz, Manila. I reached to my hotel, it took me about 40 minutes. Let me quickly introduce you to some of Philippines currency. Here is 50 pesos, hundreds, five hundreds, and the biggest note uh, they have is a uh, thousand. First place I'm going to visit is uh, Wisla Park. I heard lots about uh, this park. I showed you one side of the park, now I'm taking you to the other side. This park is so big, it even continues after the road. I really enjoyed this park. If you are in Manila, then it's definitely worth it to visit this place. You can see right there is a Kiapo church. Its official name is Black Nazarene. It's one of the most popular cathedral in the world. Let me take you in. Mga kapatid, pasimulan natin ang ating banal na pagdiriwang sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu. Sayag na mabuting balita. Sabi natin, nagbago. Kasi sa mga gusto magbago sa ating mga kapatid. At sa kanyang pagkuturo, masabi na madami ang pinapalapit sa Panginoon. 
at siya nakabuo ng isang grupo dito ano yung mga Clarisians I hope you enjoyed watching this historical cathedral This is a small guys, it's the biggest mall of Philippines and uh, it's the 11th biggest mall of the world. It's the biggest developer of world class shopping center with an uh, average foot traffic of 3.5 million daily. You need at least one full day to visit this place. I don't have much time, but if you guys planning to visit here, make sure you have a plenty of time. Fort Santiago is one of the most beautiful places in Manila.
This is Artin Island Museum. I'm very excited to see this place. Let's buy the tickets. Welcome to Art in Ireland. If you are in Manila, I highly recommend you to visit this place. It's an interactive art museum I ever seen. It was amazing, I had a good fun here, just love this place. If you want to watch Art in Ireland in detail, click the link below. I'm going to Tutuban Central Market, the both are close to each other. I'm using this transport called Ancas. Basically it's an uh, extended motorbike. To avoid the traffic, this is the bus transport. I'm here in Tutuban. First, I will take you to the Tutuban Center.
this is a really great place for shopping the indoor market are less congested and have a AC if you want to cool down come inside overall it's an um, interesting market that uh, offers a wide area of shops and uh, merchandise great place to buy a unique uh, souvenir for someone back home I didn't really see much difference in the prices between outdoor and indoor market but uh, outdoor market is very crowded especially in night time anyway let's move on to our next place near the Kapo market and uh, Kapo church there is another place to visit Manila mosque it is the most largest uh, and famous mosque of Manila. I'm going by walk uh, from Kapo Market. It is a uh, Manila Mosque. Its uh, official name is Masjid al Dahab. It is also known as the Golden Mosque because of the gold painted dome. Today I'm going to show you Malakayang Palace. You have to go through from this security. On my right hand side, this white building is uh, Malakayang Palace. It was originally built in 1750 by a Spanish nobleman. If the United States is uh, to White House, Malakayang Palace is to Philippines. This building is beautiful and lush even for this time but I would not recommend to make special visit for this place as uh, you are not allowed to take pictures or make videos. This is Manila Bay Walk, it's right opposite the Assembly of Asia. 
this is so relaxing and uh, scenic place to visit I'm gonna spend my evening here let me show you around <laughs> 